Hello boys and girls, welcome back. This week in art, we are going to be creating three-dimensional buildings by making a rectangular prism. These are the materials that I used to create this project. You do not need to use paint to complete this project, but if you have it available, you are welcome to use that. I also use colored pencils, a black marker, a pencil, an eraser, and a piece of paper. To begin our cityscape, we need a piece of paper horizontally, landscape style. And that's because we are making buildings and they are tall, but they also are wide. We're gonna start by making a line towards the bottom of our paper, and that's kind of like the ground line. And then we're gonna draw some big, long rectangles that are various sizes. You can have big ones, small ones, medium-sized ones, any size that you want. They, are, they can be touching. You can have maybe a little pathway between them so that there's not touching. It's up to you how you design your buildings. I'm doing some big, some little, and one little one at the end to start. Next, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line that goes from the top of the corner of the building and it has to go the same direction. So if I go from the left to the right, then all the diagonal lines must be left to right diagonally. Then I'm gonna draw a straight line, a straight horizontal line that goes to the edge or connects the pieces together. And then I'm going to draw a vertical line that goes down the length of the building. So straight line horizontally to connect them and then a vertical line down to close the building in together. And one last time horizontal and then vertical. So now you can see that we have created our rectangular prisms. Super simple way to make a three-dimensional building. Now is the part where we can decorate our buildings and add details. We can have different kinds of windows. We could do circles for windows, rectangles for windows, squares for windows. We could do an, a window that has an arch to it however you want to design and decorate your buildings and add details. You can have curtains on the windows. You can do a plus sign in the middle to create the bars on the windows. Whatever you want to do, but as long as you're making it unique and different and being creative and having fun with it. So while you're working on your paper, I'm gonna work on my paper to add all the different details to make each building interesting and unique. You can even add an awning on top of the door if you want to, to make it look more like a little shop. You can add signs like a bakery. You can add trees and clouds and a sidewalk and some lines on the road. And once you have all that, you're gonna go over it with a black marker 
trace around your pencil lines, and of course erase all your pencil lines. Sometimes I change my ideas as I'm going. Sometimes I add on with bricks and adding different details, and that's okay. You can always add on to your project. Once you have your ideas and your buildings the way that you want them, you're gonna color them in. I am using color pencils. You can use crayons, markers, anything that you have available to you. You can even paint the different buildings if you would like to. It's up to you how you decorate them. While you're decorating each building, make sure that you are using bright colors to make each building stand out and that you are coloring in nicely and neatly so that there's no white spaces. Because lots of buildings have different types of exteriors, such as bricks, you can create a brick wall or a brick building. I'm using different colors of color pencil to make the bricks stand out since bricks are made out of clay and each type of clay might have a different color. Another trick that I like to do is if I am coloring one thing red and I know that there are other areas that are also going to be that same color, I can add on and continue using that color to color in those different spaces the same. Make sure that you're taking your time and coloring in nice and neatly. If you are using paint for this project, what I suggest is that you color in with color pencil or marker or crayon, the little details, and then you can go in with your big details with paint. And that will create kind of like a mixed media picture and painting for your artwork and all the little details will stand out. All right, boys and girls, this is our project for this week. We are creating a city using rectangular prisms. I cannot wait to see what your city looks like and how you created it. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time.